when someone is on your donation page, meaning that they've arrived there from social media, search, navigating your website, or clicking on an email, that is a real critical moment. They are primed, they're ready to go. So here are four things you can do that will increase the likelihood that you're gonna take advantage of that moment, which is so precious. The first one is to talk about a person's story at the top of that donation page. You wanna keep it short, right? If they're on the donation page, that means that you don't wanna take up too much of their time. The best way to shorten a story is to have a picture, right? A picture that's gonna communicate the emotion or the struggle of related to that cause, and also uh, use less than 50 words. Keep the story itself really short. Again, they're arriving there because they're getting other parts of the story in email, Facebook, social media, other web pages on your website, and so forth, okay? In fact, you could tell the whole complete story on one web page on your website and say, you know, find out what else you can do. They go to the donation page, uh, so what they're getting on the donation page at the top is basically an excerpt. The first sentence has to have something that really astounds people. Before and after. So you want to give a sense that this person was in a dire situation or this animal was in a dire situation and it's dr dramatic. They're on the mend. They're on their way. They're getting better because of support from people like you. Okay. Now who is you? The person looking at the landing page. The second tip, tell the donor about the impact that they are going to make. Don't make it about the money. Don't make it about the organization. Make it about the impact that the donor is going to make. They don't want to donate money to a nonprofit. They want to change the world. On the donate button itself, don't use the word donate. It's not a strong word. There's no gain in it. There's no perceived value to the prospective donor. What you want to say is, 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 you know, feed hungry children, right? So there's a button. Let's say it's your donate button. Get rid of the word donate and say, feed hungry children, give clean water, build a playground, connect a classroom. The language in the call to action has to connect the donor with the impact. That's basically the idea here. And then the last tip on your donation page is get rid of the sidebar. You don't want to have a sidebar on your donation page that says, hey, follow us on Twitter, right? Because guess what? If you have a really funny tweet or something that distracts them, they could just say, well, you know what? I'll follow them on Twitter for now and I can always do donate some other way. Twitter is going to be how I stay connected with this organization they're not going to stay connected with you by following you on Twitter. So you want to get rid of any sort of distraction on the sidebar. Don't ask for emails or anything like that in the sidebar. Just have a single column landing page that looks beautiful on mobile with a story at the top, very brief, and then talk about the impact, different ways of impact, and then big call to action. And then the last one is, as I said before, get rid of the sidebar. So I hope that's helpful and this is actually from a course that I'm doing with Julia Campbell. Two classes, I'm gonna dive in deep on your website, right? Optimizing your website for fundraising. So learning the steps to make your website mobile, driving traffic to those key landing pages or donation pages, and then increasing your website's uh, results on search. Okay, so that's really about the structure, the navigation, and your website on mobile. Julia is going to deal with the content. How do you tell stories that arouse people, that arouses them to the point where they want to take action, whether it's joining your email list, your newsletter, or your, um, you know, whatever it is, or registering for an event, making a donation, doesn't really matter. You have to drive that action with emotion. And that uh, the foundation of that is really storytelling, okay? And Julia is an expert at storytelling. So check it out. Shift your website into beast mode. It's going to start on April 18th at 11 a.m. And April 25th at 11 a.m. is the second class. They're going to be recorded. All the resources you're going to have access to for 90 days. And that is it, okay? Thank you so much for listening if you have gotten this far. Bye.